Oh, okay, so hi guys, my name is Sam. If you're new here, hi, I do tech stuff. Welcome back to my channel. Echo sent me a whole lot of stuff to check out in this video. They're finally launching in Malaysia, so let's check it out. Let's go. So Echo, Echo Gear, Malaysia actually sent over a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to go through them one by one. So let's check out the first one on top and then we'll go through everything. So I'm just going to put everything to the side and check out one by one. Okay, so for the first thing, this is it. This is the Echo Lavender Purple. It's one of their tactile switches. If we go to the back, we can see the specifications right here. It's Lavender Purple. It's a tactile switch. It has operating force of 53 grams and it bottoms out around 58 or 60 grams. And then these are the other specifications you can take a look at. I really like how Echo packaged this. We'll open it up and they have this box. And inside the box, all the switches are perfectly packed. So one box will have 45 pieces and they go for around 38 ringgit and that's really cheap. You can check it out on their store on Shopee. Links will be down there. Let's do a first impressions. Okay, it feels really nice. Honestly, this tech house feels really nice. Let me zoom in. So this is a tactile switch and at the back we can see that it's 3 pin. And there's a cutout for the LED, so it's going to be compatible with a lot of boards. And then you have a clear housing with a purple back and purple stem. I'm going to do a quick sound test at the mic for you guys to hear. In my opinion, first impressions, really really nice switch. And definitely worth it for the price. Let's move on to the second one. These are the second switches we are going to take out, uh, check out. It's the Echo Vintage White. It's an all-white switch on the back. We can see the specs again. It has operating force of 35 grams and bottoms out at 40 grams. It's a linear type switch. And this is a total travel and total pre-travel. Let's check it out. Again, really nice packaging. And this is what it looks like inside. We have all 45 switches. Let's open it up and test one. Alright, so taking a look at the front, we have a white stem and then we have cutouts for the LEDs. On the back, we can see it's 3 pin and there's again the hot, the cutout. So the body is mainly plastic and black uh, in white and then we have a clear casing housing over here. I'm gonna do a quick test. Oh, so it actually operates really fast because of the low grams needed. Feels really nice, I'm gonna put it next to the mic for you guys to hear. So first impressions, it's really smooth and doesn't really have a lot of scratchiness. Let's look at the third switch that they gave me. The third switch we are going to be checking out, it's the Echo Matcha Green. This is one of the more popular ones. Slide it out and take a look on the inside. Again, you have this warranty check sticker and then we have the switches in this plastic. Let me just open it up. Alright. Now let's do a quick close-up look at it. Okay, again, it's mostly just green. We have green plastic stem, green plastic housing that is kind of clear, and then we have the back. The back is 3-pin, and we can see a cutout for switches for the LEDs, so that the LEDs can shine through, and then we'll take a feel. Feels really nice. Actually forgot to look at the specs, so here it is. So it's a linear switch and then it has operating force of 50 grams and it bottoms out at 55 grams. I'm gonna let you guys listen to it next to the mic. This really feels good too. You don't really need to loop these. These come really smooth out of the factory. Let's check out the next switch. The next switch we're gonna check out is the Echo Rose Red. At the back, we can check out the specs. So it's a linear switch has operating force of 43 grams and it bottoms out at 48 grams really nice again let's check it out one pack has 45 switches as usual wow okay really loving this color i think they are really reasonably priced at just 38 ringgit quite cheap let's zoom in and take a close look at it All right so again, it's mostly just pink. We have a clear pink housing on the front and on the back, it's 3-pin. And then there's a cutout for the LEDs. And oh, this is really smooth too. I like this. Let me just put it next to the mic. So 
so far i really like echo switches because you don't actually have to get them looped they are pretty decent out of the factory now let's take a look at the last switch the last switch we're checking out today is the echo radiant red let's see what it says for the specs so the radio reds are a linear switch and operating force of 53 grams and the bottom out is 58 grams this is the pre-travel and then we have the total travel so let's check it out oh i kind of messed it up okay let's take a look at one Again, same design, but it's not really radiant red. I would say it looks more orange in my opinion. So you have the stem, the clear housing, and then the back is three pin, and you can also see the cutout for the LEDs. This feels really good too. Let me put it next to the mic for you guys to hear. I think this one is one of the better or smoother feelings one. I really like this one. Then we have one thing to check out. It's the keycaps that sent over. Let's check it out. This is the last thing Echo sent me. It's their Echo Cherry Profile keycap set. There is actually PBT double shot. This, I believe, is their Echo, uh, Echo Neon set. Okay. Again, this is a hard plastic. And then we have this where it actually houses all of the switches. I really love the packaging. Let's take a look inside. So I've got to admit, I've actually used this keycap for my build. I couldn't wait. So here it is. This is one of my upcoming builds. It's the 980 mini build. So it's basically a compact 60% with uh, basically a numpad. So as you guys can see, it, reeks, it looks really good and the double shot is really nice quality. I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So I'm going to take out two keys. So we're going to take a look at the two keys. So here we can see it's the red and purple one. So it's really nice. There's no bleeding or anything. The print is really clear. And on the back, you guys can see that it's actually pretty thick, in my opinion. This is another example with the purple and light blue. Again, it's really nice print. There's no misprints or anything. And on the back, it's really thick. I really like it. So that was basically everything that Echo sent over for me to take a look at. I will definitely be using a lot of this in my next builds, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a sound test with all of the five switches that Echo sent over. So the first one we have uh, Lavender Purple, second one we have Vintage White, third one we have Rose Red, fourth one we have Matcha Green and the last one for the five, for number five, it's the Radiant Red. So you guys can take a look and see which one you prefer better. So after doing a few testing, I would say that my favorite is actually this one, the Radiant Red, which are linears. They yeah, uh, have operating force of 53 grams and the bottom out at 58. I really like how they sound and how they feel straight out of the box, unlooped. So that are my thoughts on what Echo sent over. Let's go to the outro. So yeah, that was it guys. That was a quick look at what Echo sent to me. A huge thanks again to Echo for sending over their switches and keycaps for me to check out. Again, they are launching in Malaysia already and they have their Shopee set up. You can go check it out. They have the best prices because they are officially opening a Shopee account. Links will be down in the description below. So yeah, you can leave a like if you like this video. Dislike this video if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't. I have more content coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>